I'm a hit a free, yeah. We gon' bust a freestyle. Kelly hit it, get it, no my flow be too wild. Yeah, we What's good everybody? So last week I dropped a video mixing some vocals with with with, with some stock effects from Adobe. Yeah, it was a sick video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to mix some vocals with custom plugins that are not from Adobe. I've had a lot of people ask me for free presets, make a free preset, because if you didn't know by now, we have this awesome website. It's kelly.com, where you can purchase vocal presets for Adobe Audition, all stock effects, but they're 20 bucks a piece, and some people some people just not trying to pay $20. So that's why I made that video last week because if you just follow along, there's your free preset. But this week, I'm doing a custom vocal preset. I don't have these for sale. I might do custom vocal presets if you guys would like. The issue is a couple of the plugins that I use, the Isotope Alloy 2 and the Ozone 5, they don't make them anymore. They have, uh, they have new versions of those plugins and you can't buy those plugins anymore but i know that you can find them online from other sources other websites so they're still available you just gotta find them so let me know if that's a thing you guys want me to do because i will put uh custom vocal presets on the website as well i just haven't done it because they're not that easy to get but you know i might, I might do it comment below if you guys want some custom vocal presets but today i'm gonna show you guys how to mix how i like to mix my vocals personally this is how i do it mostly with custom plugins, but we also have five stock plugins in this vocal chain as well. It's a mix between custom and stock, but this is the vocal preset roughly. This is roughly what I do for most of my personal songs. So let's go ahead and get into it. I wanna play this freestyle that I made last week for that video. We're just gonna use the same vocals. It's just a little freestyle. It's, it's nothing special, but uh, we just need something to mix. So here you guys go. I'm gonna hit a free, yeah. We gon' bust a freestyle. Kelly hit it, get it, no my flow be too wild. Yeah, we on a way. I ain't never changed. Money on my brain, yeah, I'm here to celebrate. Tell me what you know, I don't think you understand. Feeling like a man, I just do it cause I can. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fam. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fam. The vocal mix let's go ahead and get into it so as i mentioned before the first thing i like to do is turn my beat down we have it at 4.5 this will give room for your vocals the effects that you're applying to your vocals and room for mastering later on after you finish mixing this song you don't want to keep everything at zero because once you finish the song the levels are probably going to be distorted once you start applying all these effects and stuff so turn your beat down step number one next effect is in my mixer right here is my eq that i like to use our stock eq our stock Adobe EQ. I love this EQ, it works really nicely. I cut my lows off to 100 hertz. I brought the highs, the brightness part of my voice down around 4,000 hertz to about 6.2, just to get rid of some of that harshness. And I brought the highs up to give me that like crispy vocal. When I did the stock effect, I didn't bring the mids down right here too much. That's because I didn't have as many powerful plugins. But once you start adding these plugins that I use, it really brings your voice out. It sounds too harsh and too bright and stuff. So I like to bring it down around 4,000 hertz where it's not too bright and harsh because I do have a high pitched voice. My next effect is our auto tune, our first auto tune plugin. Now, this is Adobe stock plugin, comes with Adobe, the automatic pitch correction, major D. As I've mentioned before, every single song has a different pitch. So make sure you have the scale and the key correctly or it's gonna throw your whole song off. And you can find the scale and the key by going to getsongkey.com right here. Drag your beat in. It will tell you the key and the BPM of the beat. And then you can add the key to your auto tune and you're all set. Or you can contact your producer, ask him, or look on the website in the description. It should tell you the key and the BPM. The BPM doesn't really matter for this, but next, plugin is not a stock plugin it's a plugin that i had to buy actually i didn't have to buy it it came with my apollo twin but it does not come with adobe and it is a custom plugin that is my uad auto tune it's the most mainstream auto tune now i like to use the two auto tunes because it really gives me a good effect i noticed when i use two of them it sounds like i can sing a lot better so i like to use two of them because i can't sing that great these are my settings got your retune speed the more you turn this down to zero the lower the number is the more auto-tune you're gonna have. The higher the number is, the less auto-tune you're gonna have. I've noticed that this is a really good setting, nine, 27, and 14. The flex-tune, if you bring this up, 
make it sound more natural, less auto-tuny. If you bring this down, it's gonna sound more auto-tuny. And the humanize, the more you bring the humanize up, the more it's gonna sound less like auto-tuny, it's gonna sound more natural. I have that at 14. So that's my plugin for my auto-tune. Next, we have another plugin that does not come with Adobe, and that's our Slate Digital FGX. It's a compressor, but I don't really use the compressor. I like to use this, the transi the, tra the transients, whatever it's called. Um, my settings aren't right here. It's not showing me the right settings. There we go. All right, so as you guys can see, the, the compression's off. We're not using the compressor. And this dither thing, don't turn that on because I've noticed when you turn that on, all you hear is a bunch of noise, like So I have that off. And the only thing I really use in this plugin is the low punch and the detail. It really shapes your words. It adds more detail to your vocals. That's the transients. That's the only one I'm using, the only effect I'm using here. And if you pay $10 a month, you can get a Slate digital package and it gives you like 100 different plugins. So if I go down here, VSTs, effects, Slate digital, gives you these three. It gives you this. It gives you this over loud. It gives you kilohertz gives you this, gives you this. Those are all this. Those are all Slate Digital plugins. Maybe that wasn't 100, maybe like 50 plugins for like 10 bucks a month. It's pretty good. SlateDigital.com, check it out. Then our next effect is our compressor. Now this is with Adobe, it's a stock plugin. The Classic Softney, I use it for all my songs. Great compressor, really good, highly suggested, awesome. So we have another compressor on top of that compressor. We have three different compressors. No, we have like three and a half compressors. Our single band compressor, our Isotope Alloy 2. It's one of my favorite plugins as well. This compressor with my classic Softney. Like I can do without the single band, it's whatever. But um, the dynamics processing with the Isotope 2, it's amazing. Those two right there, it kind of like makes the whole vocal preset and the rest of it's all like this little extra stuff. But for the Isotope Alloy 2, this is the compressor that you can't even buy anymore. You can't buy it. You can't find it. You just got to search the internet. So on this compressor, we have our, we have, they have a bunch of different settings here. Boom, 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 boom. Go down to vocals. We're using a basic compression and EQ. I changed the EQ a little bit. I'm pretty sure I brought it back. Yeah, I did. A threshold, I'm pretty sure I left the same. Dynamics, I left this all the same. They did have a Dynamics 2, an Exciter, they had a de Limiter. I have all those turned off because I'm pretty much using those effects elsewhere. Besides the de I don't even have a de in this vocal preset, which I should. There we go, de Boom. So make sure you de your vocals. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do this quick. So we're gonna DS the brighter parts of the mix. There we go. So it's attacking the brighter, the higher hertz, which are the harsher hertz. All right, so after that, we have mastering. I'm really just using their exciter. This is a stock effect as well. Yeah, just the exciter 15. This will give you like a crispy, saturated vocal. Then we have another exciter, it's called Fresh Air. This is a plugin that does not come with Adobe, but it's free. Feel free to check that out. Super simple. You just turn these knobs up and it gives you ni a nice cripple, a, a, a nice cripple, a nice crispy vocal. Yeah, we on a way. I ain't never changed. Money on my brain. I'm here to celebrate. Tell me what you know. I don't think you understand. Feeling like a man. I just do it because I can. I ain't never stop. Nah, I do it for the fam. I ain't never stop. Nah, I do it for the fam. It's really easy to overdo those exciters. If you push the exciters too much, give you the harsh vocal. You don't want that harsh vocal, so be easy on those. Don't don't push them too much. <laughs> and then we have another exciter. It's like the compressors. I have multiple exciters that are different to give you that saturated sound. Just like I have multiple compressors that are different to compress your vocals. So this is probably the most powerful one. It's also attacking the lows. Like if I bring this up, it's gonna give you like a distorted, not a distorted, but like a, yeah, like a distorted vocal kind of. Yeah, we on a way, I ain't never changed. Money on my brain, I'm here to celebrate. Tell me what you know.
don't got too much of that on here. We just have a little bit. But this thing really makes a big difference as well. It's an isotope plugin. Isotope Ozone 5. Again, they don't make this, but you can find it online if you search for it. Then we have our Isotope Ozone Reverb. This is my favorite reverb ever. I have multiple custom plugin reverbs and stuff, but I still have not found a reverb that I like more than this reverb. It's really good. I like to use their plate reverb. I just crank all the knobs, but I keep my wet mix really low, unless I'm doing like a really reverby song. And for the most part, I always use plate reverbs. So if you guys are looking for a good reverb and you can't find this one, just look for a good plate reverb. Plate reverb's the best. A lot of reverbs, it sounds like you're in a box. This one sounds like there's no like walls. Like the reverbs is spreading. It's great. Works good. Then we have our Universal Audio Delay, another custom plugin. It's like some echo, some delay. I like this delay a lot. You can like pan it left and right, bring it centered, do some like modulation type things to it, EQ it, ping pong it so it goes back and forth. Like super cool plugin. If you don't have that, you can always just use some Adobe Echo. And last but not least, we have a stock hard limiter, kind of like a compressor, just seals everything off, stops those levels from reaching any further sealing off the mix it's also a stock plugin comes with adobe then we still have a little bit more left if we go down to our master track so this master track down here is affecting everything the beat and the vocals and we have a fresh air plugin on here more exciters more more crispiness i'm not really using a lot of it though just a tiny bit the mid air 18 and we have i'm pretty sure more saturation we have a little bit of eq with this mastering effect this is a this is a stock plugin I had it on my vocals as well. If you go to special, you'll see it. We have a little bit of EQ cutting those cutting those highs off just because I have so many exciters. We, <laughs> we probably need it. Then we have an exciter, 19%, and our loudness maximizer. It's a compressor, so it's just kind of compressing the beat and the vocals together. And then we have our output gain, which is turning everything up, and that 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 that's it. That that's the mix. I'ma hit a free, yeah. We gon' bust a freestyle. Kelly hit it, get it. No my flow be too wild. Yeah, we on a way. I ain't never changed. Money on my brain, yeah. I'm here to celebrate. Tell me what you know, I don't think you understand. Feeling like a man, I just do it cause I can. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fans. I ain't never stop, nah, I do it for the fans. I might add some custom vocal presets to the website for you guys can purchase. You're just gonna have to get these plugins as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys wanna go get some vocal presets for Adobe, it's kelly.com. We have a bunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon. Peace.